Just like a snake gives up its skin and come outside in the same way, without any effort. He automatically he will go out. What is the teaching that the family life gives to us? We have to take some teaching. Just like we go to the school. For what? Do we, why do we go to school? To take lessons, to learn, to receive many teachings. And after that, so we come to the school for knowledge. And we go away from the school. Like when we leave the school, it's for what? To earn money. Okay. This material world, this material world actually is a place of activities. We're doing the karma. You cannot say that people are not doing karma in this world. That person who says he's not doing karma, he's a liar. He's a liar, he's lying. We, we eat, we sleep, we take breath. Is this karma or not? So everybody in this world, they are doing karma. So what? But you have to realize what is the fruit of this karma. Two fruits of karma. Happiness and unhappiness. Uh, sinful activities and pious deeds. So we are suffering or enjoying the sins and pious deeds. Sometimes we are unhappy, sometimes happiness. These actually are cause of bondage in, bondage in this material world. But by the association of sadhus, slowly, slowly, you'll get realization. Then you'll try and endeavor for bhajan, endeavor to perform bhajan. Everybody should endeavor to perform bhajan. Just like the Vrajavasis, they live in a family life or not? All the Vrajavasis, they left the house and they became Babajis? No. They live with the family in the house, the Vrajavasis. And they behave so sweetly with all the family members and they worship Krishna. Like they are making the cows, the Vrajavasi milking cows, and they are singing. So the family life is not a bad thing. Do you understand? It's not insignificant or low thing, family life. Actually, the family life makes us attain the essence of everything. But at the same time, a family life is also without any essence. So at the same time, family life is the essence and also without any essence. Family life is without, without essence if we don't do Bhagavad Bhajan. If we don't worship Lord, then the family life is useless. But if we, we are one, one pointed to Lord, if we, we are centralized in Lord, and we do Bhagavad Bhajan, we worship and chant holy names, then the family life becomes full of prema towards Lord. Bhagavad Prema Mai. So whatever you do, so just try to understand one thing. Our house belongs to God. Why do we broom the house, clean the house, sweep the house? Because Govinda will come and play in my house. So one Gopi, she was sweeping the floor, thinking about Govinda will come to my house and play here. So whatever we do, if we establish this friendship with Lord, and establish some relationship with him, then this family life is not bad. Actually, family life will be full of happiness. Why do you take care of your babies? Like some kids, children. God gave you to you these children, this baby. So just like we have towards Bhagavan, to Bhagavan is Vatsalya Bhava. Also we can have to, the, we have to our babies Vatsalya Bhava. Actually, Lord is teaching us how we should serve our family members with this relationship. Lord is teaching us. 
love and affection. Family life is it's called an ashram, ashram. Just like Girihasta, we call Girihasta ashram. Who stays in the ashram? A sadhaka, particular. Whether he is grihi, with like married or tagi, renounced person. So this is Agrihas is a ashram. Ashram means A means directly. Shram. Shram means like to endeavor a lot. What is Shram? Like to practice a lot. Abhihas. So this family life actually is teaching us. In the family life we learn. It's a place to learn things. If so if you, you, if you stay in the family life and so if you stay in the family life and tolerates happiness and unhappiness, then we can in, improve our, ourselves. Like if it's hot, you have to tolerate the hot, right? The heat. If it's cold, you have to tolerate the cold. Because this is the nature of the nature. <laughs> like the nature is like this, you know, this climate, all these things. Nature is just following its own activities. Sometimes it's hot, sometimes it's a rainy season. This is the natural, you know, activities of the nature. And we just have to adjust ourselves to the climate or to the nature t around us. Our family life also. Happiness and happiness. You ha just have to tolerate adjustment. You have to adjust yourself. This is an art, kala. So what is the art of bhajan? Kala doesn't mean banana, means actually art. <coughs> Sorry, the art of life. What is the art of life? It's like this. And you should understand everything is the mercy of Lord. Everything is mercy of Lord. In your life you should just remember one verse. And you'll never feel any uh, problem in your life. Which shloka? Tatenu kampam. This shloka explains. You should understand everything as the anukampa of God, mercy of God. What did Bhagavan give us? Whatever happens to us, we should understand that God gave us as like a mercy, the mercy of God, happiness and happiness in this way. And we should always keep keep peaceful. I mean, we should always try to be peaceful. We should always endeavor not to have quarrel in our family, not to have fights in the, in the family. You should, should be careful with this, be attentive to this. Whether you are a man, a woman, a baby, a husband or a wife in the family, should be attend, uh, give attention to this point. We should control the anger, control your anger. Otherwise, the anger will come and give bad samskaras to your daughters and daughters and, and sons. This um, anger that you have, you'll give, uh, you'll also give, like, it will, it will influence your children and it will be, you'll give kusamskara, bad samskara to them. Then they will also give problem to you later and to others. So, uh, as much as possible, you should control your anger. Understand? Because in the family life, in the family, in the house, sometimes everybody makes commit some fault sometimes. You cannot, but the people generally blame each other. This is your fault, your fault. But everybody, everyone commits faults. Even for small things. Sometimes they become so big, a big quarrel. We should be careful about this. Otherwise, this bad samskara will also come to your children who are in the house. Gurudev used to give an example. There was an old father. 
Okay, there was an old man. He was the father of the house. This father had one son who was married, and the son married had also one small baby. So the father started to live in the room downstairs, and his son, daughter-in-law, and the baby of his baby, his grandson, was they were living upstairs. So, so there was a like a bowl made of stone, a bowl made of stone, and it was a little bit broken. This bowl of stone, and the son would give food to his father, his old father, in this bowl of stone, stone bowl. So, father, after the father of this house, this old man, when he died. The son was cleaning the house, but then the small baby of the son told. He kept the, that bowl made of stone. And said, and the father asked, son, why are you keeping this bowl? And then son told, oh, because uh, you use this for my grandfather, so I also must keep to use it for you. So when you become old, I will use the same bowl to feed you food. Maxana Prabhupada told this story. What is the meaning? Whatever we do in this family, in our life, it is also coming toward our children. So the intelligent person is staying in the family life is that person who actually can control his anger. And actually, as most uh, as much as possible, should be silent in the family. This is the speciality. Otherwise, I speak towards also speak towards you know the quarrel. Then there is a big fight in the family, and big quarrels. So much suffering. So this is the art of staying in the family, of living in family life. You should mostly. Try to control your lust, anger, illusion, pride, envy, etc. This is the Muni Rishis, they say this. Bhagavatam explains, giving the example of the gopis. I'm not telling to give up the house. Our Shastra doesn't say to give up. I always say, don't give up. Unite. Unite with God. Connect to God. Don't give up. Connect with Lord. This is called Samban again, knowledge of relationship. By this Samban again, you can attain to Lord. Understand? Association of Sadhu, Harikatha. <coughs> you understand? And should always be Udarchita, generous, magnanimous. You should always be open heart, broad hearted. You should not be miser. You shouldn't be miser. The more you are broad hearted, more God give you. And the more you are miser, more God take from you. You should be broad hearted. I'm not talking only about money. I'm talking about also other, other aspects. Udar, like generous, the, the person that in his heart he's a person who has no duplicity, no hypocrisy in his heart. His heart is pure. Your heart will be pure only when you do Bhagavad Bhajan. Okay, you, you're thinking you're doing the bhakti, okay, you have the date in your house, but every day so much quarrel in your house, so much, fight, so much fighting and quarrel. 
Then Bhagavan will say, I'll leave your house, I'll not stay here in your house. I want to go away from your house. So should always be Sukh and Santi, peace and happiness. Our Veda Puranas Upanishads, they say this. The last mantra of the Vedas is Om Shanti, Om Santi, Om Santi. Like be, be in peace. Peace. Peace is very important. Understand? Those who, they would say, yes, those who are not doing bhajan, but they are peaceful, so they are higher. <coughs> Gurudev answers, how can he be really peaceful without, without bhajan? He should do bhajan. Chant holy names. Chant the holy names of Lord. As much as possible, chant holy names. Okay, now it's 9.30, I must go. Have... 15 minutes more. But they haven't taken prasad yet. The food will be cold. That guru is not a guru. If that guru does not take the disciple too, uh, in direction of Bhagavan, direction of Lord. The duty of the Guru is to take the devotee disciple in the Satmarga, means the be best path, means Bhagavad Bhajan. To make <coughs> duty of the Guru is to make the devotee, the person, do worship Lord. That friend is not a friend. If that friend does not give me good instructions, actually, instructions on bhakti. That mother and father, they are not mother and father, actually. If they don't give good instructions to the kid, what is the, what are good instructions? To inspire the kid in Bhagavad Bhajan is to encourage the children to worship Lord and chant holy names, Bhagavad Bhajan. What if your mother and father are telling you? Paneya bit to him, to whom? Ah, Bakasur. Which demons Kaneya killed? And that husband is not a husband who does not give good instructions to the wife. That wife is not a good, not a real wife if she does not give good instructions to the husband. That God is not a proper presiding deity or deity if if he's not giving good instructions to the human beings so the Shastra explains that friend is my real friend that, that person who makes me enter Bhagavad Bhajan worship to Lord so everybody should do Bhagavad Bhajan. You can do a little bit. How can you do so much? No, Kali Yuga. In Kali Yuga, how can you do so much? At least, how much? Are, how many rounds are chanting? You stop chanting? Did you stop? But you said before you were chanting, no. You changed. You should not change. Sorry. I didn't understand what the would change in Gurudev said. It did not change itself. You changed. Should not change. Change at least a little bit of holy no names. Every single thing, happiness and peace. Otherwise, it will be just like the waves of the ocean beating, I mean, breaking on, on over you. 
So you should at least chant some holy names. Well, however, uh, how much is possible, just do it. As much as possible. And you will see that you will find happiness and peace out of it because of this. You want happiness and peace or not? After waking up early in the, mor in the morning, chant holy names. At least two rounds, four rounds, as much as possible. First, he was chanting ten rounds. Now zero rounds. Now he's chanting zero rounds. Your cricket fail. You fail in the cricket match. You should never fast in your Japa Mala. You fast on Ekadasi, but you should never fast on Japa Mala. Means not chant, not to chant. So chant holy names. You'll find happiness and peace. If anyone really wants happiness and peace, <coughs> should chant holy names. And you'll feel so much bliss. <coughs>